Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Kurt Troggett, currently serving Palmer Greece United Church of Christ. I grew up in the Evangelical Reformed Church and graduated from Elmhurst College, founded by the Evangelical branch of this union. Two alumni of Elmhurst were the Neighbor Brothers, who were prominent theologians in the mid-1900s. I'm sure most of us are familiar with the Serenity Prayer, one that addresses our personal mental health. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The prayer is attributed to Reinhold Niebuhr. The earliest version of the prayer is dated 1937. In this version, it reads, Father, give us courage to change what we must be altered, serenity to accept what cannot be helped, and the insight to know the one from the other. The words are only the beginning of the prayer. In these difficult times in which we find ourselves, I would like to share with you the rest of the prayer, which I truly believe to be words of encouragement and hope as this pandemic continues to confront us. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking, as Jesus did, the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. So as we try to take care of ourselves, we must also ask, how have we impacted the mental health of others? To that end, we look at the words of Henry Nouwen. Did I offer peace today? Did I bring a smile to someone's face? Did I say words of healing? Did I let go of my anger and resentment? Did I forgive? Did I love? These are real questions. Hard times bring out the best or the worst in people. Let us endeavor to give our best.